Today's topic is about social justice literacy. Here, students will learn about active citizenship and youth participation. The objective of this session is to understand the process by which a youth group is established, recognize the role of youth groups in a democratic society, develop interpersonal skills through cooperating with others who share their passion, practice critical thinking in the context of addressing global and local social issues, encourage themselves and those around them to engage with the democratic process of voting after critically examining the issues, experience the various challenges and rewards involved in establishing and being part of youth group. This session is for the students between 14 to 18 years age and it will be completed in the 8 meetings over a 6 month period. The number of participants per group will be 8 to 12 and materials needed for the session are whiteboard, screen or projector or online form website example Google form, Microsoft form or SurveyMonkey. Let's get started. Firstly, students are presented with a list of global issues or community issues. They are asked to reflect on each of these issues. Which ones are the most important? Towards which issue would they be willing to contribute the most of the time and efforts? A brief class discussion is held where the teacher can clarify what each particular issue is about if necessary. Students are also encouraged to add specific issues to the list. Students are then asked to rank the five most important issues that they regard to be the most important to them. It should be made clear that they should only choose issues that they are personally willing to work on. Furthermore, an online form is prepared by the teacher listing all the issues. Students can vote on their chosen issue in several ways such as for their most preferred issue or ranking their five most important issues if the online form supports weighted answers. The data is collected and analyzed by the teacher to aid in dividing up the students into a group of 8 to 12 based on their responses. The teacher needs to be flexible to divide students up in a balanced way that promotes group cohesion. Members of the same group should ideally share the same values and thus work better together. If necessary, the teacher can offer one-time transfer opportunity for students who wish to change groups at a later stage. Students are then assigned to their groups as well as the issues that are associated with each group. They are introduced to the concept of setting up a youth group for the express purpose of identifying and tackling specific problems. Now, each group is urged to grow into a working youth group by following and completing Worksheet 1 as a group. This includes identifying the main objective of each group followed by developing the action plan. Groups will also be encouraged to start fundraising activities to facilitate their operation and increase their chances of success. Students should also be encouraged to reach out to others in their community to join the group. New members should be properly vetted as having a genuine interest in participating in the group. Here is the interesting part. Each group is to set up an online community to facilitate communication between members, that is, a virtual community of practice called VCOP. The group VCOP can exist on multiple social media platforms and is expected to evolve with time. For example, an internal virtual workshop of Microsoft Teams or a Facebook Messenger group or an Instagram publicity page or a WhatsApp discussion group, etc. The group VCOP should not involve the team and students should be guided to recruit more members to support their cause, thus growing the VCOP. It is recommended to keep a separate VCOP that includes the teacher and all students from each group. 